हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ शनाज एंड वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई वंडरफुल वर्ल्ड ऑफ एजुकेशन सिस्टम दट इज़ एम टी सी मुस्तफ़ा ट्यूशन सेंटर दिस इज़ द नेम ऑफ माई यूट्यूब चैनल एम टी सी मुस्तफ़ा ट्यूशन सेंटर एंड दिस इज़ द लोगो एंड आई हैव अपलोडेड वन हंड्रेड थर्टी नाइन वीडियोज ऑन दिस चैनल रिलेटेड टू करिकुलर एज वेल एज एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर एक्टिविटीज फॉर किड्स फ्राम क्लास वॉट वी से किंडर गार्डन टू क्लास एट ओके सो इफ यू आर फाइंडिंग इट इंटरेस्टिंग एन्जॉयबल एंड फन लर्निंग दिस वे इजी टू लर्न देन प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड लाइक एंड शेयर माई वीडियोज सो एज अ ट्यूटर फॉर एट ईयर्स इन ओमान एज वेल एज इन इंडिया फॉर स्टूडेंट्स फ्राम किंडर गार्टन टू क्लास एट आई रियली फाइंड इट यू नो वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टीचिंग इज एन एवर लविंग प्रोफेशन फॉर मी ओके so and uh, i miss all my mtc kids mtc champs okay i miss you all i hope you all are watching this video and find it helpful in your studies so okay kids in this video we are going to learn about one of the interesting and very easy topic from evs and uh, this notes will be helpful for classes from 2 3 4 as well as 5 okay this is the basic okay and the topic is parts of the plant okay the different parts of the plant will make it easy so let us start so as we all know that plants are living things okay and like human beings they also have different parts and each part has got different functions to carry out okay not only plants and animals anything that you see around has got different parts okay and each part has got a work to do so in the same way plants have got different parts and they have different functions to carry out so let us see what are they now coming to parts of the plant the parts of the plant you can mainly divide it into two one is the shoot system and the other one is the root system so what is shoot system so as you can see here some part of the plant is above the ground and some part of the plant is below the ground so the part of the plant which is above the ground okay see this is the ground and the part of the plant which is above the ground is called the shoot system okay so this is the shoot system which includes the stem the branches the leaves fruits vegetables buds and okay that's it okay these are the things and the part of the plant which is below the ground this is the ground the part of the plant which is below the ground is called the root system okay so this is root system and this is shoot system this includes the roots there are different types of roots again and this is shoot system which includes the stem leaves flowers fruits and uh, branches okay now as i said that each part has got a different function to carry out which is very important again okay now let us see first the root system okay the root system which includes the roots what is the function of the root system these roots they help to hold the plant firmly on the ground okay like see we stand on the ground with the help of our legs without legs can we stand on the ground no right will be in the sitting position or lying position in the same way if the roots are not holding the plant firmly in the ground the stem alone like this on the ground cannot stand without a firm foundation under the ground okay so the roots help the plant to stand firmly on the ground in the soil okay then the next function is these roots they absorb water and minerals from the soil what they do they absorb water and minerals from the soil and then they supply it to the rest of the parts okay they supply it to rest of the parts then uh, you know the leaves they are called the kitchen of the plant where the food production happens okay plants produce their own food we know this right plants produce their own food and the food production happens in which part of the plant it is leaves yes okay so leaves are the kitchen of the plant where the food is made and to make this food like how to make the food we also require some ingredients we also require things in the same way to make food plants also require few things okay so the water and the minerals that are required for food production is supplied by the roots to the leaves okay fine so this is another function then one more function is some of the roots 
okay some of the plants they hold uh, they store the food in their roots like carrots beetroot radish they are actually the roots that we are eating okay so some plants they store food in their roots fine so these are the three main functions if you can remember are the important functions of the root system then next coming to the shoot system what is the function of the shoot system what does it do the stem supports the plant above the ground below the ground it is supported by the roots and above the ground it is supported by the stem okay it's a plant it is not uh, this is the it does not have a strong stem but okay this is the stem in the center what you can see okay so the stem uh, supports the plant above the ground and what is the other function the stem bears the stem bears the leaves the fruits the vegetables and the birds okay so it bears all these things then the other function is the water and minerals that are absorbed by the roots are carried by the stem to the leaves okay so the roots they absorb water and minerals from the soil and then through the stem it is carried to the leaves okay so the roots are supplying water and minerals to the stem and stem is supplying it to the leaves for food production okay and then food made by the leaves is carried by the stem to different parts of the body again okay so food that is made by the leaves is carried by the stem again to different parts all the parts it is supplying the food okay then next is when i am discussing this it reminds me of the function of the heart right it looks like the function of the heart in our body yes supplying oxygenated and deoxygenated blood okay then next is uh, some of the stem some of the plants they are storing food in their stem okay and we are eating some of the stems like the sugar cane ginger potato these are actually the stem that stores the food and we are eating them okay so these are the main functions of the root system and the shoot system i hope you all understood now coming to types of roots okay there are two types of roots as you can see here one is tap root and the other one is fibrous root okay first one tap root what is tap root in tap root there is one main uh, what we say root that grows okay there is one main root that grows into the ground okay from the end of the stem one main root that grows into the ground and from there some hair like uh, what we say roots are there okay this is called tap root and this type of root is present for the plants like neem plant cotton plant mustard plant mango plant okay so mango tree these all are having tap roots next is fibrous root fibrous root is here you don't have a main root growing into the ground in fact there are so many small small equal size of roots that grows from the end of the stem into the ground this is called fibrous root for example you can see this for the grass wheat rice onion etc okay so they all have what fibrous roots okay as you can see here this is fibrous roots okay this is grass yes okay this what you can see is fibrous roots okay there is no main stem growing into the ground in fact there are multiple what we say uh, equal size of uh, roots that grows from the end of the stem okay so this is fibrous root now this one you can see this you can call it as tap root okay so see there is one single stem growing under the ground okay and some hair like structures which is seen there as a small small roots okay so this is what tap root okay and uh, this is actually the roots where the food is stored and we are eating these roots okay carrots fine so this is the difference between tap root and fibrous root in tap root you have a single main uh, what we say uh, root that is growing straight into the ground and then many small hair like roots that comes out from it whereas in fibrous root there are many uh, what we say small small roots that grows from the end of the stem okay that is called the fibrous root as you can see for the grass so hope kids you found this video helpful in understanding the different parts of the plant their functions and the two types of roots the two main types of roots that is tap root and 
the this one is the tap root and the fibrous root okay so if you found it interesting easy to learn fun loving then please do like my channel Okay please subscribe my channel MTC Mustafa Tuition Center thank you